What's up, Scorpio? Welcome to BMHP. So when I was getting your energy, I promise you, I'm like, am I going nuts? Every word I heard began, began uh, see, I can't even talk after it. Every word I heard began with an R. Relax, rewind, release, red robin. I'm like, what? Relax, rewind, release, and red robin. So I'm like, okay, let me hold on. Let me get into the, to my mode again. Mm. And the same thing. Relax, release, rewind, and red robin. But what was crazy when I heard red robin, it was like the food. Red robin, yum. And I'm like, okay, yeah. But either way, let's go ahead and hop into this energy, see what all these R's are about. R, 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 R. Beloved, what's going on for Scorpio, please? What do you want Scorpio to know? Serendipity. And madman. I wonder if that's why I was getting all those damn R's. Maybe you're going to run into a person or someone at a railroad. <laughs> The knowing at the foundation, mending in the recent past, milk and honey crown in the reading, and in the near future, flexible. So interesting enough, interesting enough, something is getting ready to shift in your life. I mean, really shift. Like, you might be very prosperous. You might be relaxing, releasing, um, rewinding, whatever you're doing. I feel like it's going to start with a damn R. But, um, Beloved has given you the vision of something. Like, you could, Scorpio, you are a very intuitive um, um, zodiac sign. And with this deep knowing at the foundation of the reading, whatever I'm getting ready to tell you, I feel like you already know it's like confirmation. But let's go ahead, jump into this reading and see the message that Beloved has for you. Beloved, what's the message you have for Scorpio? And I picked these, well, I guess Beloved picked these cards because you are the death card and these are kind of why are these the heaven and earth cards and at the bottom of the deck you have the ace of cups so new love coming in it could be around the time of the olympics or something but um let's see deep knowing valor and earn success Rewind, release, and relax. Scorpio, I feel like there's someone you know, hands down, that you need to let go of. This may be someone who you are very close to, someone who you've spent a lot of time with, someone you really care for. But I feel like everything within you tells you that you need to let someone like go or a situation go or this thing go. Something that I feel like you've been holding on to, beloved has been talking to you about in your intuition. Like you already know what this is. This isn't like something that you haven't been told about. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. I see either uh, six passed on loved ones or six uh, ancestors, angels, whatever, have been trying to get this message to you. Like it's, it's time. If this is about a job, it's like there's something else waiting for you on the other side of this. But it's something that you already know. What's going on with this mending? The Princess of Swords and Pleasure. You know, Beloved has been guiding your way through. You made a discovery. Why am I hearing? Oh my goodness, here we go. I just heard somebody was fucking somebody else.
So what did you have to rewind? Cause you can't, you can't right. Can you rewind lives? You can rewind lives. You can re re rewind things on YouTube. Something that you you seen that had already like passed. It was something you had to rewind back to, or maybe this was something that beloved was bringing to your remembrance. I better put that R on that remembrance. I don't know what's up with the R's though. But it was like, it was like something came along, something happened, and it was like you had an epiphany. You was like, hold up. And I'm not sure if you had to rewind back in your mind or re rewind back something or go look at something again or something like that. But it's like something, you know how you read a book and the first time you, you, you get some veggies out of it. But when you start reading it the second and third times, you start seeing things you never seen before or starting to understand things you never understood before. It's like that. You know, yeah, especially with this mini card, you start putting something together like the pieces of the puzzles or something start coming together for you, Scorpio. Let's see, why serendipity here? The two of wands and the two of swords, yeah, something you didn't see before. It's like, like I said, this epiphany, but it's serendipity, like something happened and it was like, wait, hold up. Why? Wait, you know, it was like that type of moment, like, hold up, wait, now I understand or something like that. It was like something you weren't seeing before, something that, you know, your intuition was shut off for whatever reason. You're a Scorpio. I don't know why the hell your intuition would be shut off. But um, something was blocking it. What was blocking it? The people you hung out with, the um noise, your daily noise of the daily grind, um, just the world, traffic, um, colleagues, um, people, places, things. That's what was blocking it. But it's like. You know something now. And I feel like you got the motherfucking um, receipts. <laughs> yeah, you got the receipts. Because look, that imagine with that moon there, your intuition is on point. As of right now. Something opened it up and you got receipts for whatever this is. You're like, hold on. I know I'm not tripping. I got receipts. Yeah. There you go, the moon and the emperor, Scorpio. Could be dealing with the Aries. Yeah, that's that intuition being on point. It was hidden from you before, but it's like you finally awoke in or something. Do something. Beloved sent you a message. Look, wait, wait, hold on. You got receipts and you got beloved on top of the receipts. Look in this person. Let me see. If it's at my right, it'll be your left. Look at look at the emperor's left hand. Receipts. Receipts. Yeah, something that was um hidden from you before is not hidden from you now. It's why like you can see clearly. You got the receipts for whatever this thing was. You had to rewind, release. Relax to get it or something. Because as long as you was holding on to it so too tightly, you couldn't get it. Yeah. Let's see. Why is milk and honey here? The King of Swords. And um Material Gain. And on this part, for some reason, I'm hearing red, robin, yum. And the only bird I see is the one that she's holding. So maybe, like I said, maybe Beloved sent you a message or something. But you're not playing. Like, you got the receipts. And now you, oh my goodness. You know what I just heard, Scorpio? 
I heard now you on some bullshit with whoever was <laughs> was involved. I'm not sure if this was a, a conspiracy, if this was a love affair, if this was somebody cheating, if this was somebody at work. I'm not sure what this situation is. But I hear that you on bullshit with whoever did it. And when I say bullshit, meaning, oh, they want to play rough? Okay. Like, and you don't need to do that because beloved got you. Beloved's on your side. Look up there in the clouds. Right there with you. So you, you can put that sword down. And that machete. And I don't even think that's a machete. That's an off with what they had type energy. Put that down too. <laughs> yeah. Because now what you know. Beloved is getting ready to open up the windows of heaven. To pour you out a blessing so big enough you don't have room enough to contain it. You going to show up like this with that red robin. Talking about mm, young. That's what y'all get for trying me or for doing me like that. Like, beloved, got you. Put the weapons down. Put your anger down. Put your pride down. Your ego down. Put all that to the side. And watch how beloved blesses you, Scorpio. Okay? So flexible. You got the Queen of Cups, you, and the Two of Pentacles. You know... Yeah, look at that. Mo if your intuition ain't came back, and you know why? Wait, 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 Scorpio. This thing, whatever these receipts, whatever this was, in the hand of the emperor, once that wisdom and knowledge, that intuition came back to life, you see how that thing in his left hand is lit up. Right, that's the energy from the moon. I'm, I know cancers are um, under the sign of the moon. I mean, under the planet of the moon. I'm not sure what sign Scorpios are under. But all I know is that power. I mean, look, it's around the King of Swords. You got your motherfucking um, intuition back. Okay, that's what was gone for a minute. And now you're gonna have so many damn options. But you got to be flexible. You can't be holding on to that old stuff, Scorpio. It's time to let it go. And they're also saying that you got to learn how to balance your energies better. Okay? Because that, that, that energy is part of this yin yang. You got to balance that light and that darkness. Or that yin energy and that yang energy. That feminine and that masculine energy. It's time for balancing, but baby. You got your, um. You got your intuition back. This was the same gift that your parent had. A mother or father. I think you have a higher level gift now. Whatever you had before, whatever had you kind of, and I don't want to say in darkness because it wasn't in darkness because beloved has always been with you. But whatever you, gift you had before, like you have it times 10 now. Like if you just, what did beloved say at the beginning of the reading? Um, Release. No, rewind, release, relax. As long as you do those three things, your shit going to be on point, Scorpio. Okay? But let's go ahead and get a message close out this reading for you, Scorpio. Beloved, what's the message you have for Scorpio, please? I got to bring out my angel cards. I got some other angel cards. I missed them. <laughs> they, got, they got all kind of um, uh, uh, angelic beings in it. Look at Scorpio. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We draw feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. I mean, never, beloved. I mean, throughout this reading, beloved has always been with you. Yeah, this is, I don't know what happened here. What took your intuition from you? But even in your darkness, it was starting to dawn. I mean, baby, that light 
only got brighter. Scorpio, you're reading this shit, okay? This is what it's producing. Remember this energy we started off with? Once, once you're able to get that right, that's what's going to pour out of you. Because ain't nobody going to be able to take that shit from you ever. Because look who's bringing it in. Beloved. You see that um, cross with that bird? It's sent from heaven, baby. Just like the car say. What does it say? We seeing you coins. What does that bird have? A coin. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.